Baptists are one of the most diverse Christian traditions. Uh, you know, we're not a uh, tightly confessional tradition like Presbyterians or Lutherans. We don't have uh, a pope or bishops like Roman Catholics or Anglicans. So there's a lot of Baptist diversity. We wanted to honor that diversity as much as we could while also understanding uh, you know that we are writing from a particular perspective and and many of the people who use our book will probably resonate with the perspective that we're coming from as uh, evangelical uh, Baptists who are theologically orthodox. In addition to that you look at things that last over time throughout Baptist history so regenerate church membership that's a perennial concern even today what does it mean to have a credible profession of faith how do you understand the gospel being lived out in the church through membership and as long as Baptists are around, that's a question that's always going to be asked. Yeah. I'm often amazed at how much Baptists did and how little they had to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, so, many, so many church planners today, so many missionaries today at least have organizations and agencies and support networks to work through. And when, when, when Baptists were constructing this early on, they had very little support. It was basically, let's use the talents and the prayers and the very little resources that we do have and let's just see what God can do through us. There was a great dependence upon God. So our book does something that no other book in Baptist history does. Uh, what normally happens is you have one of two different approaches. You either have uh, a very technical, scholarly, interpretive work uh, that's sort of masquerading as a textbook, or you have a magnum opus written by a seasoned scholar or scholars near the end of their career where they're sort of reflecting on everything that they've learned over time. Um, I think it's accessible in a way that uh, other books are not. Baptist story is not simply a North American story mm -hmm. or a Western story, but it's also become a very much a global story. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, we're capturing something there that has not been captured before. Uh, the layout of the book with, with pictures, text boxes, questions at the end, is student friendly. Mm -hmm. And we, we did that intentionally because in part, say for example, the pictures that we use, we want students to know these are real people. We're not just writing about you know, abstract ideas. These were people who lived and died, and sometimes died because they were Baptists or died because they were Christians, or they made great sacrifices in, in, in the name of Christianity. Um, we also, I think, do a very good job. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with our approach here. Uh, we try to incorporate stories of minorities and overlooked people groups mm -hmm. without giving them victim status. So we're not we're not trying to uh, push an agenda and to say that you know Baptists are wrong in this area and wrong in this area. We're trying to judge them by modern terms. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're careful to realize that Baptists have made mistakes in the past, mm -hmm. but we're trying to let history speak on its own terms and then let the reader make the judgment. Mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to tell the whole story of Baptist in a in a more or less condensed form. One of the great strengths of, of Michael's section is he's so well versed in primary sources and he's so globally aware mm -hmm. of, of what's going on. We sat out and our mantra has been, we're not writing for scholars, we're writing for students. An accessible textbook that would cause students in learning about Baptist history to say, you know, this is interesting, this is a story. And uh, whether it's their story or not, perhaps they can relate to that story. And so that's our hope is, uh, you know, this probably isn't the best book for a professor who's trying to supplement his or her lectures. Other books do that well, but to immerse a student in the Baptist story, we felt like that was something that we could really contribute. Yeah. Okay. I think probably on a number of levels, I think, I think definitely with the questions, it's, it's a textbook. Yeah. It, it can be used, it's divided into uh, 13 chapters, so you know it, it's going to fit the term very nicely, a chapter per week as a standard Baptist uh, history textbook. Uh, but also one can envisage it being used in a local church. Yeah, yeah we, we wrote this book with students in mind, and so it's not anything that a student should feel too weighty historically, because we, we felt like there was a lot of things we had to leave out just to keep the story moving. And so even though it's a textbook, it's, it's not the kind of thing that's going to weigh a student down and make them feel like they've just been bombarded you know, too heavily by three historians. So we, we wrote it with students in mind, and writing with students in mind means it's transferable, I think, easily to a church context, because it's not just written for historians or academics. Given, first of all, the way we've laid it out, and then the resources that we put for the reading at the end, mm -hmm. it will stimulate people. Okay, I, I'd really like to know more about this character, and there's resources at the end of each chapter. Here's where we can go. There have been many debates 
in the last 40 years or so over the nature of Baptist identity. Those debates have infected entire denominations like the Southern Baptist Convention. And uh, for that reason, it's often colored the way that people interpret Baptist history. And uh, no one is immune to that, no matter where they are uh, on the spectrum of different Baptist identities. But as much as possible, we wanted to provide a primarily descriptive account of Baptist history, but then come back at the end and sort of say, okay, these are all the different things that descriptively we've hit on, but we really do have convictions about the best way to be Baptist, so we've sort of shown you different Baptist ways. Mm -hmm. Now in this last chapter, building upon that, we want to commend you a particular Baptist way. And so I've, I've always found strength in people who have run the race, finished the race, mm -hmm. kept the faith. And as we write about these kind of Baptists in our book, I hope it gives strength for our students as well.